hey guys welcome back again to my channel today's video will be about how to make a trending drop skirt with eye slits if you'd like to see how i made this please stick around to the end without further ado let's get to the video so we'll be starting out by drafting the pattern for the skirt now it is a long skirt i have my pattern paper here folded into two so the measurements we'll be needing for cutting the skirts we'll be needing our skirt lengths waist measurements waist to hip hip measurements and the knee length measurements so i started by creating a starting line and from that point i'll be taking all of my measurements So first of all, I'll be marking the horizontal lines. My waist to hip is 9 inches, so I'll add half inch for joining at the waist. And then my waist to knee length is 18 inches. I'll also add half inch there. And then for my full length is 46 inches. But what I have here is not enough, so I'll make do with what I have here. And then I'll place it on my fabric and add the extra length. So I'm going to connect all the lines into a straight line, my hip line, my knee length line, and my full length. So like I said before, the pattern paper is on fold. I'm cutting the front with this, and then I'll place it on my fabric to cut the back as well. So I'm using this one pattern paper to just shape the front and the back. So I've gone ahead to label my waist, hip, knee length, and full length. So at this point, I'll be marking my body measurements. I divided my waist into four, and then I'll mark what I've got there. Then I added one inch allowance for seam allowance, and then I'm also going to add another one inch for dart. Now this dart is for the back pattern. So after cutting with the dart, I'm going to remove the dart measurements and then place to cut the front. The front will not be having any dart. So I went ahead to my hip measurement and divide my hip into four and had my one inch sewing in allowance. And then on my knee length, what I've got as my actual hip measurement, I'm going to be removing one inch. So if I got 10 inch on my hip measurement, I'll remove one inch, making it nine inch and add my one inch sewing in allowance. So I'm going to be connecting the lines together, connect my waist to my hip and then from my hip to my knee length, then my knee length straight down to my full length. So for the waist to the hip, I'm going to be marking two lines. First of all, there is one inch for the darts and there is one inch for seam allowance. So the one I'm marking with the darts one inch is for the back pattern. So I'm going to trim that out after cutting the back of my fabric and then place it on my front part, which will not be having any darts. So after connecting all the lines, I'm going to cut out my pattern now. Now this is just how to cut a normal straight skirt. So after doing this, I'll place it on my fabric to cut it out. So first of all, I place my pattern paper on my fabric to cut my back pattern. It is on fold and I added my zipper allowance of one inch. Then as you can see, I've extended the length to my desired length so then after doing this now i'm going to remove that one inch which i said is the dart off well before cutting the front part remember that the front part is on drip so you don't just place it like so so to cut the front part i'm going to be cutting another front skirt pattern again because the skirt is an overlap draped skirt so we'll be needing two of the front pattern of it so after tracing and cutting it i'll show you what next to do i just label the front side and then i'm going to be placing it on top like so then next i'm going to be marking the lines i'll be needing so one side is going to be the left side and another side will be the right side 
so to mark the overlapping for the front skirt i'll take my tape and measure from my waistline to seven inches and then i'll go ahead to my knee length at the midpoint i'll take four inches from the midpoint of my knee four inches inward and then from that four inches point i'll connect it to meet with the seven inches on the hip line so then from that after connecting that with a curved pattern since my curved ruler will not be able to draw it i'm just going to use my hand to mark out the lines and then from that four inches then i'll take it straight down to the full length so this is for one side of the skirt so i'm just going to make it visible with my marker so you can see what i've done so just in case you didn't get i'm just going to explain again i measured from my waist to seven inches on one side of the skirt and then i went in by four inches on the knee length from the midpoint of the knee length i went in by four inches and then i connected it with a curved line then from that four inches i took it straight down to my full length then after doing this i'm just going to add like one inch seam allowances for folding or a 0.75 so i'm going to cut that part out now and then after cutting it i'll keep it aside and then draft the other side of the skirt so this is the other side of the skirt on the right side i'll mark from my waist to my hip length which is 9.5 and then after marking the point i'll mark my waist to knee length which is 18.5 then from that 18.5 i'll be connecting it to my hip length with a curved ruler and then i'll take the remaining side straight down with a straight ruler So after marking that i'm just going to cut it out after adding your sewing allowances of course so this is how the placement is going to be the left one will be underneath it and the right one will be where we have the draping which is the bigger side so i'm going to take out that left part now and illustrate the draping so to mark the draping i didn't use any calculations i just manipulated different kind of lines and then i first of all did that with my pencil so as not to make a mistake then i'll go ahead to make them visible with my marker so i had five lines after marking the lines you can make yours more depending on how you want it then mine was about one inch difference from the first line to the second line on the right side so then after doing this i'm going to be cutting i'll cut the lines open leaving about two centimeters at the side parts for draping so after cutting all the lines open i place my pattern paper on the right side of my fabric as you can see the shining place is the front part so after placing it like so i open up the lines with about two inches space and then i connected it with my shock you can increase the spacing for the slash and spread you can increase it to three inches if you want your draping to be much so i've gone ahead to cut out the pattern on the fabric and then i added my extra lengths for the skirt length so after doing this i'm going to be notching each of the pattern lines and this is going to serve as a guide for my pleating so after notching them you're just going to place on top of it place each notch on top of the next one to pleat it so then i'm going to take off the pattern paper and go ahead to cut the second part of this front skirt so this is the second side of the front skirt i placed the pattern paper on the front of the fabric and then also added my extra length for the skin length 
so this is how it's going to look like after placing them together the front side of the two fronts should be aligned so this is how you're going to place it the smaller part is going to be on the inside and then the draped part will be on top of the smaller side so to drape the front part of the skirt you're going to be placing one of the notch on top of the other and then you pin it then you go ahead to the next one and place it on top of the other one then you pin it then just like that you're just going to place one notch on the next till you achieve all of your draping so after holding them down with your pin you can take it to your sewing machine and sew that down line and then you can also go ahead to press it so for the smaller part i've gone ahead to m my bottom parts and then i also am the other bigger parts so after doing this i'm just going to place them together you can see that the draping is now equal with the normal skirts so i'll take it to my sewing machine and stitch both sides together after doing that you can bring in the back fabric and then shape with your body measurements or remove the one inch in allowance you had it before so this is the final look on the dress I added it to my corset top and it formed a gown. I'll drop the link on the full video on how I made the corset blouse in case you missed it. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe for more amazing tutorial on this channel.